Florida's drowning rate is higher than any other states. In just the last week, we have seen two in our area. Saturday night, a child drowned in a pool at an apartment complex. And days before that, a 17-year-old drowned while swimming in the St. Mary's River up in Georgia. News for Jack's reporter Brianna Andrews is joining us now live. And Brianna, as more families head to the pools, beaches, we're surrounded by water. Local groups say it's really important to teach kids water safety as early as possible. It is National Water Safety Awareness Month, and according to the CDC, more children ages one through four die from drowning than any other cause of death except from birth defects. I stopped by the British Swim School, and the owner says the key to water safety is knowing how to react. Before you could swim, you have to survive. A student or a swimmer needs to be able to save themselves and be able to be comfortable in the water before, you know, learning how to swim distances and those sorts of things. So we're always going to be focused on survival first. The British Swim School teaches kids as young as three months old up to adults. Owner Andy Wood says parents with young children need to teach them to swim as early as possible. Give them the tools they need to be safe before, you know, they get too curious and get too mobile. But if there is an emergency, CPR is one of the first moves you should make. Amanda Bullard is a paramedic and an instructor with the American Heart Association. She teaches life-saving skills like CPR to everyday people. Do you think CPR is a necessary skill parents or loved ones should have? I really wish they would teach it before you even left the hospital. Or Amanda Bullard recommends these three steps in case of an emergency situation like drowning. Number one, call 911. Number two, check for a pulse. And number three, begin CPR until the person is conscious or until paramedics arrive. Reporting live, Brianna Andrews, Channel 4, The Local Station.